Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with Integral here, sharing another tech tip that will help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're going to talk about Oath, the new company or the company that owns or now owns AOL, Yahoo, Engadget, and a few other services. Uh, Oath um, has new privacy settings that could affect current users of AOL and the Yahoo. Now I know a lot of you out there are laughing. Who uses AOL and Yahoo? But you'd be surprised of the people that still use these online accounts. They need to be aware of some of the privacy settings that Oath is now putting in place. Um, some of those settings go along the lines of what Facebook has done as far as data collection. We're going to switch screens like we always do, take a look at what Oath is doing and what some of the privacy services they are enacting. So there's our favorite sites, Yahoo, and there's AOL. Uh, they have definitely changed in the way that they've operated over the years. Uh, even though Yahoo uh, has been a victim of a massive data breach uh, back in 2015, and AOL uh, is kind of antiquated. Uh, service people still use these online services and so uh, it's no surprise that multimedia company Oath has now purchased these two services so what does that mean exactly as far as what Oath has done well the services themselves still act and look the same uh, they still have pretty much the same interface but the rules have changed as far as what information they're gonna get from you what is that information exactly? Let's take a look. Well, see, now when you log on to AOL, Yahoo, Tumblr, Huffington Post, TechCrunch, and Engadget, as you can see they're all under the umbrella of Oath, and Oath is owned by Verizon. So now they have new privacy terms which specifically say they collect data. And but the good news is is that they put that information up there, but in a lot of circumstances people rather than to click on I accept will click on I'll do this later later so in coming forward oath is basically saying they've updated the way that they collect and analyze user data in order to deliver services content relevant advertising and abuse protection I think the key word here is the relevant advertising part so that includes analyzing content and information when you use their services so that means that Oath uh, or Verizon, in that instance, will analyze emails. So if you use AOL and Yahoo email service, that means Oath has the right to analyze all those emails. Um, if you utilize any of the, any of the instant message services um, with Oath, then that means that they have the right to look at those instant messages. Any posts you made, photos, attachments, and other communications, meaning they'll link the activity on other sites and apps with the information they have about you. And they are going to report that to other parties. So basically, Oath is coming out right and saying that they are going to spy on all of your information and share that with third parties. While that's good, the challenge is, is do you really want Oath to have access to all of your information? And that's one of the things that a lot of uh, us users online are struggling with. We like the free services, but do we really want to give up our information? Uh, the unfortunate thing about that is that um, a lot of these services or online services make their money from sharing your data with other third-party vendors so it's kind of important for them to have access to all of that information but it's something that you should do as a consumer is to make sure that you look at the privacy terms um, of any service that you use to verify what they're going to do their information or your information so kudos to Oath for uh, sharing that privacy policy but at least you now know that if you don't want that information to be shared uh, with other third parties then you probably should limit what you uh, share on those online services so I know a lot of 
you out there probably use AOL accounts and Yahoo accounts uh, to conduct business. Now might be the time to use those accounts on more of a casual basis and consider purchasing a domain for your business and conducting all of your business on a domain as opposed to using a free email service such as Yahoo, AOL, Outlook.com, and even Gmail because all those services have the right to scan your emails. So kudos to Oath for putting it out there, but at the same time, make sure that you read the privacy policy and know what you're getting into when it comes to free web-based email. If you have comments or questions about this tech tip, leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you to find out what tech tips you would like me to preview or showcase in future videos. Um, speaking of videos, be sure to subscribe to either Integral on YouTube, our YouTube channel, or myself, Burton Kelso. Tons of videos there that are designed to help you get the most from your digital life, as well as our social media accounts. Uh, we share tech tips, tricks, and cybersecurity alerts designed to keep you safe and to keep you rocking with your technology. So take care of yourself, folks, and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.